Hello, I hope you're having a good day so far and welcome back to the channel. Final season is finally over and I'm so excited to just like focus back on content creation and then uploading more for the summertime. So today my friend and I are heading to UBC. We live quite far away so we don't get to go there often so we're just going to spend the day there and then hopefully maybe get some merch and some good food and maybe some pictures and be sure to like comment and subscribe we are almost at 400 which is insane so thank you so much so i'm finally here with my friend ella hi vlog so we met in sociology last term and we survived a very hard term together we finally finished our first year yeah. come along with us to ubc Ella just successfully parallel parked and I'm very proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> We are in the bookstore and we're trying to find some merch. We got some merch. Yeah, that one's on sale and it's kind of cute and Maybe. it goes with everything. So we're thinking of both getting one. This is so pretty. So I'm seeing my friend for the first time next week and I got her a little something. We just got out of the bookstore and we got our merch. merch! And we're not sure what to eat yet, so we're just walking around. We finally got some food. And we decided to go to Bow Down and here's what we got. Day, we put our merch on and we just spent the last 15 minutes taking photos while everyone else is just walking by fun time <laughs> this scares me because i always feel like it's gonna like break while i'm walking I mean, on are them are you gonna drop something yeah oh like imagine that dropping your phone through this literally. and like elevators too yeah so we just went back to the car to drop off some stuff and then ella got her A skateboard. skateboard she's so cool <laughs> I can't really skateboard. I have a penny board at home, but I just like sit on it and then push myself I'm not around. Actually, that good. You do the jumpy spinny thing. Uh, I haven't done it since last year, so. But she can. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens. I'm here with you, boy. She is pretty much the reason why I started my YouTube channel. She makes UBC videos and they're so great. Yes, Thank you. they I look so it. fun. I'm happy me and Karen finally met in person. Yeah. It's been a while. We've been like talking for like, what? Like, a long time. Like, over a year? Yeah, probably over a year. So it's finally- Finally meeting! Yeah, exactly. On UBC campus too. Yay. It's awesome. <laughs> We just finished chatting with Yvonne. And now we're getting chat time. So we got our bubble tea and apparently today is National Bubble Tea Day, but we did not know that. So I guess happy National, National bubble, bubble Tea, tea Day. day. <laughs> So we finally got our bubble tea and I was just thinking that we could sit down and talk about some mentalities or mindsets that have helped us survive first year online. So my advice would be to not be so hard on yourself because it's only your first year. And I like to think of it as how it's like you're entering high school for the first time, but instead it's like you're entering university for the first time and you're still getting used to the school environment, your work and everything. So. Even if you fail a test or you don't do great, it's okay because it's your first semester here. Yeah, everyone has that one mark or that one class where it's just like, what happened? <laughs> that was sociology in first term for us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a nightmare to think about. Very, very much a nightmare. Very much a nightmare. But you learn from it, you move past it, mm -hmm. and 
yeah, I feel like your university experience is a journey and you learn so much along the way, even just after one semester. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> My first tip is to plan in social events or just personal passion projects, depending on if you're an introvert or an extrovert, to really just recharge your mental battery throughout the day because you shouldn't work yourself to death over just school. Because once you graduate, you're not going to remember the hours upon hours of studying, but you're going to remember the fun memories with your friends. Another tip that I have is to set time for yourself, whether that's on a daily basis or weekly. I think it's really important that you set boundaries and have like some sort of like self-care time or me time because um, I feel like just constantly pushing yourself to work can get really draining and if you don't have those boundaries, you're gonna burn out and overwork yourself. Some self-care activities that I like to do are go on walks at the end of the week to clear my mind or treat myself with some Starbucks or even just call up a friend I haven't talked to in a while because it can get really isolating just yeah. being on your own and doing work on your own. Yeah, for sure. At the end of every exam, I like to just take a few hours to completely just like de-stress afterwards and just take some time to myself whether it be going for a walk or just taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, don't go right back to studying. My last tip is to take every single opportunity to reach out because you never know how close you can get with the person. For example, Ella, I reached out to her in first term just because we were in the same class and then I reached out to her saying I noticed she was very active in the group chat and now we're really close friends. <laughs> and yeah, most of my best friends this year have come from just reaching out with a simple hey how are you doing? My biggest takeaway from this year is honestly just to be gentle to yourself, be self-compassionate, and remember that you are always, always doing better than you think. What about you? Yes, it's super true. My biggest takeaway would be that if you're struggling, there's always people out there that'll care for you, whether you know it or not. And there's always people there who will listen. And yeah, don't be afraid to reach out if you need help or if you're struggling because there's people who care about you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We are headed to Rec Beach now. Hopefully don't see any naked people <laughs> on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Is today Friday? Yes, it's Friday today. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> it is a little sketchy right now. Mm -hmm. We don't know if we're going the right way, but on the map there was like a really windy road and right now this is really it's windy. windy. I just felt a raindrop. Oh. <laughs> Please no rain. Please. Update, we found Rec Beach yes. and we're about to walk down the steps. <laughs> the many, many steps. Oh, gosh. I'm walking the steps so slowly because I have a fear of downhills and Ella is so much more ahead. Update, I lost Ella. I can't find her anymore. She's so far ahead. Ella. We are reunited. My legs uh, are my shaking. Legs. My legs are shaking from the <laughs> stairs and from the fear. <laughs> Your fear of walking down the stairs. Yeah, I thought my fear of walking downhill didn't generalize to stairs, but they do generalize to stairs. <laughs> It's getting very windy now, so we are going to head back and... And wish us luck up the stairs. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll show you how we are afterwards. And also there are several nude people mm -hmm. here. <gasps> we saw a lot today. <laughs> how are we doing? We're not even halfway. We're not. Ella, you, you there? I'm here. We made it to the top. We survived, I guess. <laughs> when we were halfway up, I was like, are we at the top? And then this random guy was like, you guys aren't even halfway up. Today, <laughs> we finally made it back to the car. I'm not exhausted. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some fries now, because I'm a little hungry. Amazing. Amazing. Wonderful. 
made it back home. Thank you so much for coming along with us. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye! Bye. So we... <laughs> Stop! Oh, I don't actually know what it's called, but yep. Creative <laughs> battery. <laughs> Oh, but the lighting's the good. Lighting. <laughs>